hey youtube on top of sunshine cup which i went over this morning there is also ultra league so ultra league rankings on the board here uh i won't go over it too much because there actually is not much that has changed from earlier this season um I will go over the five teams that I used earlier in the season that worked and then slight variations, how you can do slight variations on each. Um, but just to give you an idea of what the meta was, uh, because Steelix was ranked so high now and your answers to Steelix are Registeel Cabalian, what I found was there was a ton of Verizian because some of the other answers to those are Swampert, right? So Verizian just kind of dealt with all those. So one of my teams you're going to see is an anti Verizian team because it was just everywhere like 80 percent of the teams had it on it right so um in, ter in terms of the top 20 list here um there was a gr good amount of steelix reggie still if you had it cabalian verizian crest yeah crest to a certain extent reggie rock and not so much zygarde who has those cells um Giratina all third is always an option but yeah ta oh tapu right tapu as an answer to steelix and cabalian so those tapu is everywhere Greedian as a safe swap, I didn't see too much. Double, I think, is more of the option. But I, honestly, I saw more Combalians and Verizians as safe swaps than I did doubles. Swamperts, eh, didn't see a ton. Of, I mean, Swamperts, yes. Polyrass, eh, didn't see a ton of Polyrass. So let's go over um, some teams that I used early in the season. So this is one, and it's funny because it's not some of the Pokemon that I like the best are not even on it. This was one of my fun teams, um, but it is, oh, it is a fun and strong team. So basically, it is use Tapufini as a safe swap, try and draw out a um, like a grass is your ideal. Try to draw out this Pharisian, beat it with Zapdos, and then your Greninja roams free. So two things with this team. Uh, one, you do have like a pure electric weakness. So if you see like an Ampharos or a Magnezone, you are going to have a tough time. Just keep that in mind. So you don't need to go double water here. Uh, I'll talk about Tapu in another team because I think I have Tapu in another team. Shadow Zapdos, if you never used it, again, it's so fun. It hits everything so hard. You're going to one-shot a ton of stuff, but it's glassy AF, so you need shields. But why this team is also kind of tricky to run, so I wouldn't maybe not recommend this exact team. You can, um, But I want to focus on Greninja here too because Greninja is a Pokemon that you can sweep teams with if you have shield advantage or even like okay matchups because... The Water Shirk and Night Slash Hydro Cannon combo is so effective in this meta. Obviously, your toughest answers are like Verizian, um, Tapufini, just stuff that... Actually, no, Tapufini, you win. So if you're going to use your Ninja, Tapufini can only land the Moonblast. Water Guns resisted, Surf resisted. If you shield one Moonblast, you are just going to outpace to the Hydro Cannons. And because you're so attack heavy, you will flip that match in the one and two shield if you shield up one Moonblast properly. So... Tapu is not even the issue. Um, grass is the main issue. Uh, electric, obviously. Fighting, right? You're weak to fighting. That's why I also have sort of two fighter counters on the team. So that was the thought process. Again, you don't have to use the exact Pokemon, but if you're going to use these Pokemon, that's how you kind of cover each other's weakness. Zapdos just has nothing to throw at, like, um, steel Pokemon. No, not steel Pokemon. Ground Pokemon. Like Galarian Stunfisk, um, another ground Pokemon, and that's why you have a water user to cover that um team number two so this is my modified legend team so i hit legend again i don't know how, i forget how many seasons ago three or four seasons ago and the team was pidgeot lead jellicent swampert at the time you safe swap jellicent you draw out a rizian you draw out a trevenant at the time you beat it with dragonite and then your swampert roams free same concept applies i just find dragonite is better in the current meta because you have um just way more steals right now so having pidgeot to just absolutely gets absolutely wall by steals is not amazing but having a superpower dragonite is super strong plus dragonite just in neutral matchups is so good um and obviously swampert has problems with giratina altered i mean Justin has a decent matchup with there um but dragonite is obviously super good there so modified version lead dragonite depending on what you see i mean you eventually need to get into jellicent to draw it out but you you can stay in depending on um how good the matchup is um, whether you want to just superpower mail. So just go check out that video if you want ideas how to use it. This is my anti um, Verizian team. Like I said, I saw Verizian on like 80% of teams. So I said, nope, we are going to use a core that I know that works, Trevenant Charizard, right? Um, Charizard's main weakness is water and electric, and Grass Ghost is going to deal with that. Um, and then a Nidoqueen as 
again another one of those answers where it does so well against um it, it's a it's again nerfing poison fang is is tough on this pokemon you do feel that um but having the poison jab poison fang as a shadow especially still adds up and then you're having the earth power for ground type pokemon too uh, even though ground's not a, a huge issue because the other two can kind of work its way through ground anyway so this was purely an anti-version team you are double weak to water in the back uh and yeah just water in the back uh, so keep that in mind that you kind of need to draw out a uh, type of Fini or a uh, Swampert if you run this exact team. But again, I was just hunting Verizians with this team. And because I was seeing so many, that's why I did decent with it. Um, and this is another one of those like just balanced core teams. So Trevenant's, again, main weakness is Grass, Dark, right? So type of Fini as a balance there. And then Steelix, this was the first time I tried Steelix out. Um it's my analysis on Steelix was it's it's very very strong it's not like broken it has so much bulk and just being able to break and swipe most things into oblivion like really makes it strong um but again you can just get walled by i wonder if i have my ace uh, i forget if my last team has a nine tails on it i used a nine tails with powder snow if you use a nine tails with powder snow you're going to destroy this. You're going to destroy it with type of Fini. You're going to destroy Like, there's definitely answers for Steelix, so you don't need to talk about, think about it's, like, broken. There's a lot of answers for it. Um, but again, in neutral matchups, it is very strong. And then, like, great matchups, you're, it's it's really, really, really good. <laughs> Plus being able to come out with, like, energy and bring swipe your opponent down next. Um, so balance team um, with Steelix. My safe swap. You could use Steelix as a safe swap. Um... Tapu's, honestly, Tapu's not bad for a safe swap either. I'm fine running either as safe swaps, quite honestly. Um, I think I used, when I used this team, I used Steelix as a safe swap. And speaking of testing Pokemon that got buffed, Glycopod. Glycopod is very, very strong in this meta right now. Uh, just the Shadow Claw spams so much. Again, there's a lot of counter users, so the bug resists that. Um, Excessor Liquidation. Uh not amazing moves for this meta quite honestly given that you have a ton of like steals you can throw that best throw liquidation you have a ton of fighters you can't throw excess you have to throw liquidation so other people have used because the other move is aerial ace you could use an aerial ace as a thing but there's also like um chryselias and defense deoxys that you those excess are helpful so it just depends on what the moveset you want to use uh Kabalian, Speaking about what was a safe swap used a few times, Cabalion with Double Kick, Secret Sword, and Stone Edge. And then I used the Skunk in the back because um, I don't have a Drapion. If I had a Drapion, I would use a Drapion. But I do not have one of those built up yet. So same typing, same sort of idea. Uh, crunch, again, there's a lot of things right now weak to Crunch, like just between Psychics and Ghosts, plus the Poison Jabs and Sludge Bombs. Um, good for other just basically neutral situations quite honestly so those are five teams that i used earlier in the season for ultra league um we'll try to i don't know what i'm gonna do this week let me know in the comments below if you're gonna play sunshine cup or you're gonna play this i think that ultra league has way more pokemon available for it to use i think there are 30 40 plus pokemon that you can use in this meta I, the problem is in a limited Sunshine Cup, I went over the teams this morning that you are going to be, it's going to be like Flyers, Steelix, Vigoroth Double, and maybe one or two like unique ones, maybe a Bomb Snow and a few others. But it's going to be, it's going to be a very limited meta. It's going to be like 10 to 15 Pokemon. So you definitely have more options in Ultra League. However, the, the candies and dust and everything is obviously a higher commitment to get to. So let me know in the comments below which ones you are going to play. And I will focus my videos based on that I'll probably also have a poll um, that went live. Yeah, I'll put it live Thursday afternoon, um, maybe Thursday night. So just let me know on that what one you want to play, you focus on, and then I can focus on my videos for that. That is it. Thanks for watching. Good luck. See you guys in the next one.